Hello everyone, so today I want to talk about my top 5 4 star characters and it's kind of given they're named National Team. I think I think you should know by now if you've been watching uh, Genshin Impact related videos on YouTube that these three characters, especially these three characters, they're broken. For them to be four stars, it's pretty crazy. And that was early on of Genshin Impact. During that time, I don't think the game developer, they were thinking about the power scale. And still to this day, I know some of them have fallen off a little bit. There's two of them that's still on the top and I still use them as a support. And I think that's the reason why they're still going very strong because they play a great support I cannot wait to let you guys know so stay tuned till the very end all right so here we go and the first one is of course Bennett um, Bennett is just broken even though we are waiting for the pirate archon I feel like he's like the right now he's the pirate archon because of um, the utilities that he provides um, healing buffing and of course, you know, Pyro Applicator, even though it's not that great, but if you pair him with the Nemo character like um, Kazuha or Sucrose, he becomes pretty... He's already broken, but it goes beyond that. So as you can see, my Bennett, I wanted to show the stats of these four stars because I use them um, in Spiral Abyss here and there. And let's look at his stats, crit rate, crit damage. They're nothing to write home about, but like I said before, he plays as a more of a support, um, more so than a DPS, is the energy recharge because you want that burst to be up all the time. Every rotation, you want that up. And weapon-wise, you just want to make sure that you have the highest base attack on him. So for artifacts, you want his tailor mate, um, the noblest um, artifacts. The force piece set really helps him out and also helps the team out as well. And all the substats concentrates on his um, energy recharge more. So the sands, I have an energy recharge because attack sands is not going to really gonna increase his buff because that comes from his weapon, not from the artifacts. And Constellation, of course, I have all of his Constellation, but the good thing about Bennett is like if you're starting out new and his early Constellations are really, really great of this character. And as you can see, I have his C6 um, activated, even though uh, in the beginning it was kind of like looked down upon or like you're not, you weren't supposed to unlock his C6. But now with all these new characters, new DPS, their infusion um, with their elemental uh, element, it cannot be overwritten by Bennett's C6, so it kind of works out. Talent-wise, I did not crown his his um, burst. I should. Do I have? No, I don't. That's the reason why I did not crown it. All right. So the second character we're gonna go is the um, Xing Chu. Uh, we all know that Xing Chu is just pretty broken. But um, right now, the sword I have on him, well, let's look at his stats. Um, so the crit rate is 66 and crit damage is 158. For me, I feel like um, with Xing Chu, you want to make sure that you have the crit stats up because his um, not only his skill, but his burst um, provides a lot of damage if you have good stats on him. His energy recharge, you want to make sure that uh, it's over 200 because it's more comfortable if it's over 200 but being the fact that the weapon that i have here is the sacrificial sword which is kind of tailor-made for him um because his cooldown on um his elemental skill is pretty high i think it's like 20 seconds so with the sacrificial especially if it's r5 um you kind of have like the automatic uh, reset on his um skill so you can use it twice back to back and artifacts, of course, I have this um, emblem artifacts on him, which is great. It works with his energy recharge issue and also it increases his elemental burst as well. And the substats, they're okay. 
and constellations. Of course, I have is C6, and also Sheng Chu's um, constellations are pretty broken as well. Constellation six also helps with his energy recharge issue, and being the fact that I have over 190 and sacrificial sword, there's no issue getting his burst up. And as you can see, the elemental skill cooldown is 21. And he also heals a little bit, but you don't want to rely on his heal. It's um, nice here and there, but it's it's not something that you want to rely on. And his burst, um, the duration is 15 seconds. And um, the cooldown is 20, and I believe with the constellation... Yeah, so with the constellation 2, it, it increases by 3 per second. So that's 18 seconds. So if you work on his energy recharge, um, this character has a close to all no downtime with his elemental burst. And being the fact that he revolves around his burst, and also being the fact that he's a hydro unit, his Hydro application is amazing. He's one of the best um, Hydro applicator. But they don't make these characters anymore. Uh, all the four stars, especially in Sumeru, now in the Fontaine, has been pretty disappointing. Next character is Shangling. Shangling is um, it's a pyro DPS. She's pretty broken. If you pair uh, if you pair her with uh, Bennett, she she just goes crazy with her burst and um, as you can see the pattern with these three characters they revolve around their burst and as here the crit stats 53 for crit rate and crit damage 168 and the energy recharge of course you want to concentrate on her energy recharge make sure it's over 200 so that way the rotation is more comfortable and um, I have the tailor-made four star um, the catch um, pull arm on her it just works with her it is tailor-made to her and Raiden but I have Raiden's signature on her and the catch goes to Shang Ling and um, increases elemental burst damage by 32% that's great and also the crit rate by 12% so with her burst, it's 165, 65% uh, of crit rate. So the chances of, you know, critting uh, with her elemental burst is pretty high. And also she uses the um, emblem artifacts. And here are the sub, sub stats. And the constellation, of course, I have her C6. And they're all amazing. So with these three characters, the patterns are um, they revolve their kit revolves around their burst. That's their biggest thing, and also their constellations are amazing overall. And talent-wise, I did not crown her burst, and I don't think I'm going to crown her burst because um, even though she's broken, I don't use her as much as um, Xing Chu and Bennett. All right. So the next character, I. Do not understand why people um, still to this day don't really give her her flowers. And the character is Sucrose. Um, Sucrose can use the Varidescent set. Good. Let's look at her stats. Sucrose, you know, you'll be using her skill and her burst. More so her skill for grouping. And that's also one of the things that I don't understand why she does not get um, the attention that she deserves because Sucrose, her grouping is pretty good. Weapon right here, Sacrificial Fragments. It also resets her elemental skills. So also the artifacts, like I said before, it's the Veridescent set. It increases the uh, Anemo damage, but also increases the Swirl damage by 60% and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused. The only thing about Sucrose is the, um, the elemental burst. It's very difficult to work around it. That's the only issue I have with Sucrose, but I still to this day use this character in Spiral Abyss because, like I said before, the grouping is amazing. 
and constellation she has some good constellations as well talent wise you there is no need to crown her and she's a very easy character to build as well you don't really need to do as much um just make sure you level her all the way to 90 and i think for swirl it's better to just level your character all the way to 90. all right so the last character and it's going to be when they introduce Sumeru, and there you go, I just gave her away, and that character is none other than Kuki, Kuki Shinobu. Um, Kuki Shinobu got a really bad reception when, um, when she first got released, because there wasn't a place for her, people were a bit confused with her kit. Yes, she's an Electro, and also she heals, and it was her, um... That was like the first character, first Electro character to heal, but her healing wasn't that good and we just could not find the purpose for this character. But once they introduced Dendro, then it all made sense with her healing and also concentrating on her elemental um, mastery EM and here you can see it's over 1000. And that's great because she's going to trigger the Hyper Bloom. And the higher the EM on your Electro that's going to trigger it, the better the damage. And the crit stats, you don't have to worry about it. Also with her energy recharge, she revolves around more her elemental skill than her burst. But if it's up, why not? And this weapon here, Zypho's Moonlight, works with this character because it also provides energy recharge to your whole team, depending on the wielder's EM stats. And as you have seen that her EM stat is over 1000, so she gives a good chunk to, um, good chunk of ER to all of your team, team members. Artifacts, I have the two sets of um, Gilded Dreams and Wanderer Troops because they both provide with their two set they both provide 80% of the EM and Constellation I only have C3 and I think after C2 it's kind of it doesn't really matter anymore if you're going to be using her and you're going to be using her in your Hyper Bloom team and for that C2 is good enough um, you don't really have to go to like C6 and talent wise you know just make sure you level up her um, elemental skill and that's about it there's no need to crown her elemental skill and with her uh, healing skill i think her healing skills off her um, hp it's all right the healing is fine but if you're going to be taking some damage from the enemies then then that's that's when you get into a very sticky um, situation so here you go, those are my five top five four star characters. And if you have them, I do recommend you guys building these characters because they're gonna help you out, especially if you're if you're struggling with your spiral biz, going for that 36 stars. You just have to invest in these characters. And still to this day, um, Hoyoverse is not making these kind of four stars anymore, especially those top three. Bennett, Xingqiu, and Xiangling. They just don't make those kind of characters anymore. And I do want to add Sucrose into that because Sucrose has been overlooked since after the release of Kazuha. And after the release of Kazuha, not only Sucrose took a back seat, but also the Animo Archon Venti did too. That's the effect that Kazuha has, but I still am Sucrose fan. I still use her and I do advise you guys to look into this character and explore. And Kuki, Sumeru, and the introduction of Dendro saved this character. And now she's like the best Electro Hyper Bloom trigger, whatever you want to call it. She's the best character to add into your Hyper Bloom team because she heals. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.